let's talk about lighting. Now you'll notice on the mixer, effects, sampler, and system tabs, there's a settings tab and a lighting tab. Now the lighting tab is there for lighting relative to those different sections. I'm gonna start with the effects and the sampler and the system first, and then we'll do a separate video on the mixer because that includes how you set everything up on these screens here. And I wanna make sure that we can go over it a little bit more in depth. So let's start at system. If you go to lighting for system, it gives you the easiest way to globally assign all sorts of colors to the unit in these little sections here. So you've got global and I can just push one button here and go from a red unit to orange, to yellow, to green, blue. All those colors can just be cycled through by just hitting global on the lighting tab and just hitting the color you want. Now accents are like the X and the little, um, there are some actual lights inside here. If it were dark enough, you'd see them just bleeding out a little bit from the back and the left and right there. And those are the accent lights. The bleep and the cough button can also be set up with their own colors. So I'll put those in here. So now I've got a, um, a purple button and I've got a sort of darker purple button here. So pink and purple, I guess we'd call it. So those are the, the easiest ways, you know, I just, oh, my whole unit just want it to be that color. Boom, you're done. That's the end of it. However, if we go into the sampler, you can actually click on lighting and now you'll see that the sampler is highlighted and we have some different lighting options. You can choose the active and loaded sample and you can choose the inactive option. So for bank A, I'm gonna say that every time there's a loaded sample, it's gonna turn blue, okay? So my bank is blue, that's blue and the color of an, un, of, of an inactive sample is dim. Now an empty sample, you can actually assign your own color to. So I could say whenever a sample is empty, I want it to be red. I want it to say, um, or maybe let's say green. I want it to be green. I could record a sample there. Then I want to say that when it's active, it's red, it's used. So now you can see I've got four green buttons saying I don't have any samples there. But if I record a sample, now I have one red button. But if I record a sample, that lights up red when it's playing and is red because it's filled. So if I clear it, clear, and then hit that, it goes back to green again. So that's a really cool way of maybe giving yourself a visual indication that things are populated or not. You can also click the apply to all button. So you can see that I have different settings for bank A, B, and C here. If I'm on bank A and I click apply to all, it's gonna now apply those settings to bank B and C as well. And you'll notice that each of the lighting tabs does have some manner of apply to all that you can do uh, let's go over to the effects here and we'll take a look there. So we go to lighting as well and you'll see that the preset numbers them, themselves here can all be different colors. So if I want preset one is this color, I can go like preset two there, preset three, preset four, just like create a total gong show. There we go. We got a total gong show of colors on there. Now, of course, they're dim when they're not selected. I'll use the right hand dim when they're not selected. And then as you select them, you'll see the, the color light up more brightly as you go through them. So if you wanted specific color codes in your own mind, like, hey, purple is megaphone and blue is hard tune or whatever you want to set up for yourself, that can be a good indicator. Then you also, of course, have the apply to all. So if I, if I picked, say, purple here and I hit apply to all, you can see all of a sudden they're all back to purple again. If we go down to the encoders, now encoder just means the knob, okay? There's two different colors that you can choose from, include, and also a third one that is the knob color itself. So the left color means anything to the left of the little white indicator. The white indicator is the level at which it's set. So if I put it straight up, that's like halfway. And it's just showing me with the little white dot there that that's what halfway is. So I can say anything below that or to the left of it, I want to have as light blue. And anything above that, I currently have no color, I can make that purple color. So now as I move the knob around, you can actually see that it fills in with the blue and the purple back and forth as the knob goes up and down. And then I could take the knob color itself and I could say, I actually want that to be a dark blue. And it fills in these little slots that are on the knob with a different color. And of course I can apply that to all as well if I want to. Same thing goes for the effects. You've got your four different uh, effects buttons, including the overall effects button there. You've got your activated color and you've got your dim color for your off option. Now you could choose color two, which so you could say like it's uh, say it's blue, when it's on and when it's off, we're going to choose, say, purple. And we're going to go apply to all. So now it's purple when it's off and it's blue when it's on. Okay, so I'm going to turn all this down here and you can hear it actually happen. We've got effects on, effects on, effects on, effects on. Turn the echo down and now I've got megaphone is off. Megaphone is on. 
So you could do something similar to what we did in the sampler by making things like say green for if they're on and red if they're off or vice versa, however it makes sense in your head. And then what we're gonna do is cover the mixer in a different video, just because it has these extra little bits up here that we wanna talk about a bit more in depth.